So you've got the call from your local AD, there's a watch in stock that they want to sell you, should you buy it or should you pass? So we'll start with a Rolex Datejust. Now, Rolex Datejust were always an under list watch. What I mean by that is they were a watch that was in the shop window previous to the last two or three years of the Rolex market that you could readily go and buy and you generally got a discount and so did we. Because of the Rolex market and the way it is today with the sports models that everybody wants, Rolex will make you buy a date just whether it's a ladies date just or man's date just to work your way up the list. For example, I have here a Rolex date just 41. This is a brand new 2023 model. It's the steel and gold Jubilee fluted bezel black dial. Really nice watch. Had a price rise recently in January for all Rolex models. This is now 12 one list. My client bought it last week from his local ID to work his way up the list and decided he didn't want it. So he's called me up yesterday to offer me this watch and I've offered him under list for it. So that tells you that the market has changed with regards to taking certain date just models from your local Rolex AD. If this was a steel model, that's worth more, but the steel and golds have become an under list watch for us to buy and sell. I will actually sell this under RRP. So what does that tell you about the market for the steel and gold date just? You have to be careful in what you're taking because the old idea of having the promise to get the sports watch that you want, there's no reason why you can't see why these watches are getting offered now to clients to get their spend up because they're actually, the RRP is too high. So that's something to bear in mind. Yes, yeah, so the date just range for, let's just talk about men's for now. So the men's ones, the ones you should be taking are the highly sought after dials. So the steel models, they don't have to have the fluted bezel. They can have the smooth bezel and they can have either combination of the Jubilee or oyster bracelet. The Jubilee is more sought after and more saleable and costs slightly more. I think it's about £350-£400 more depending on the model, but it's highly more sought after. So you can have any of the steel 41 mils, preferably go for the blue dial. So we've got the lovely blue dial, we've got the rhodium, which is the grey, we've got the Wimbledon, and then we also have the diamond ones, which can be sought after not as much as the other three. So, so those three there, absolutely bulletproof, absolutely safe. You can even have a smooth bezel or the fluted, either of those are fine. When you're looking at the steel and golds, unless it has something like a Wimbledon dial, I had a client ring me last week with that particular watch there, with a Wimbledon dial in, picked it up, exactly the same thing from his AD. I, I bought it just to keep my spend up, would you buy it? And if I said I'd offer him list for that watch, which is 12-1, he would run down, from where he lives and sell me that watch today. And I have to say that for me is now an underlist watch because when you look at the prices online, they just overlist. So just bear that in mind. When you're getting offered these dates, just make sure it's one of the sought after watches with the sought after dials and the bracelet and bezel combination. Let's look at the Submariners. I even get calls from people saying, should I take a Submariner date? My answer, yeah, of course you should. The most sought after steel watch that Rolex produce for everyday wearing. So it, the thing is, the RRP on that is £8,800 for the sub-date, and I think around about early eights for the non-date. But yeah, I mean, the RRP is high. The, we've actually sold four Submariner dates, brand new models, last week. So that tells you how sought after they are. If I could have a cabinet full of Submariner dates, I would. So Submariner date, yes, definitely take. Non-date, yes. A lot of people will snub the non-date saying it's you know, not as appealing as the day. I prefer it personally because I think it's a cleaner, classic looking watch. But again, extremely sought after Submariner date, yes. Steel and gold Submariner, so the blue one or the black, I've got a blue one here. So this particular one here, the bluesy as it's known, as a lot of you will know it as, comes in the, the blue uh, dial and bezel or the black dial and bezel. Great watch, one of my favorites, great summer watch. I think I've covered this in other videos. Just over list watch, literally just over. So don't expect they, to buy this and sell it for a premium if you're going to your local Rolex. A day you are going to get offered this watch. We get a lot of our clients ringing us every day being offered this watch. You know, a lot of them are turning them down, not because they don't like it, but because there's nothing in it for them. So yeah, 13 one, I think round about late 12, 13 is now list on this. Again, you've got to think, you know, the recent price rise, it has pushed it right up there. If I was to buy this for stock, I would literally try and want to buy it list or just under. I really, I won't pay a penny over list for it and certainly try and buy it just that little bit under. So, so yeah, and the thing is, what you've got to remember is it's a readily available watch now. The, the clients that are buying these, the, you guys out there, to get your spend up for the steel ones that we've got here, you know, you've got to bear in mind that we might go back to the old days where you're buying a watch that you're going to take a hit on. 
to get the steel watch that you want. So just bear that in mind, how much are you willing to lose? For example, I had a client ring me up yesterday who'd bought an Amiga from his local AD to get his spend up to get a Rolex. They've had a price increase as well and it was a speed in. The RRP is £6,400 and he had no discount. So all of you guys out there know that you do get a discount on Amigas. So if you walk into any Amiga boutique, you're literally going to get offered 5 or 10% off as soon as you walk through the door. The boutique will open their mouth and say you can have 5 to 10% off anything in the cabinet. Unfortunately, this client didn't get that discount. He asked me what I would pay for it. We agreed a price that was a lot less than that particular price that he paid but he was willing to take that hit to hopefully get his Rolex. Now some of you guys will be willing to do that and some of you won't so you've got to remember just be really careful because we are going back now to the old days with some of the models that you're being offered where they are a list or an under list watch. So let's look into some of the bigger pieces and discuss them. So one of the other watches that you guys are definitely going to be getting offered is a steel and gold Daytona. The steel and gold model they come in three dial combinations so you've got the champagne least popular black middle of the road white most popular the rrp on this watch is 16,100. that was only i think 14.6 last year so we've had a you know decent price increase on that watch what is that watch worth today depending on the dial choice champagne it's worth pretty much what you've paid for it's not worth a penny more black slightly over probably 500 pounds white probably about a thousand pounds that's roughly where we what we would pay in the current market we were actually selling the white dial for 25,000 pound last year black for about 22 but yeah so that is a watch that you will be getting offered but just bear in mind if you don't choose the right dial which is very important in all the watches and all the models that we are discussing you might catch a cold you might actually lose money and are you willing to lose money on a watch to get your way up the list. So another watch I want to discuss for you guys is the Day Date range. This is the yellow gold champagne which I've covered in other videos. This is a under list watch. RRP on this watch, early 30s to mid 30s, depending again on the dial combination, but again, a under list watch. I have so many clients who've bought this watch over the last few weeks who've rung, rang me up to sell it and I've said, I'm not even interested. I don't even want to stock it. The value of this is probably 10, 15, 20% less than what you've actually paid for it. So you have to bear that in mind. If you're taking a day date, even if it has a really nice, super clean white Roman numeral dial, which is one of my favorites, or the silver, or you know, some really clean looking watches and dial combinations, it will be worth less than what you paid. So that is definitely worth bearing in mind. They also have the rose gold. So one of the, one of the watches that you guys will absolutely love, I'm sure everybody's talked about, it's one of the hyped dials, is the anniversary green rose gold one. So the anniversary green rose gold day date 40 is one that all your friends, I'm sure, will have discussed or on their bucket list. So everybody knows a green dial in any model Rolex is one of the most sought after dials, whether it's the old GMT, which is discontinued, obviously John May again everybody knows that hype to watch we'll cover that in other videos the anniversaries so we've got also the white gold day day again just about around about a list watch not much over the rose gold one like i said i can buy that watch from a flipper or from from a dealer rrp on that's roughly around about let's say 36 i want to say 35 36 i can probably buy that for a couple of grand over list and i do get offered that you know so readily available for just over list when the dial was worth £25,000 last year on the hype. So what does that tell you about the model? So yeah, be careful which day date you get. So if you're getting off the yellow gold one, I honestly would say no. I don't care what dial's in it, I'd say no. White gold one, again, to do the blue dial or the green. Beautiful watches, under list watch, definitely say no. And then if you get the rose one, you know, if we're talking for flipping, by the way, not just actually because you want to buy it and keep it and enjoy it. I'm not talking about how beautiful they are. I'm talking about to make money. The green one, yes, at the minute. And the, the rose chocolate one, chocolate baguette, just about list. So just bear that in mind when you're getting off the day date that you're choosing or saying yes to the right model. And if you buy it to flip it and you've bought the wrong one, you're going to have to hold out for a price increase, which could take six to 12 months. So just bear that in mind. So one of the models I want to cover is the Submariner Day in Precious Metal. So it comes in two variations. We've got the solid yellow 18 karat yellow gold and we've got the 18 karat white gold nicknamed the Blueberry. So the predecessor that was called the Smurf, which was the blue dial blue bezel. And then the new one has the black dial and blue bezel 
really super nice watch, 41 mil in size. List price on that watch is about 35 grand. That watch is a watch, unless you absolutely love it, you need to be saying no. And you need to be saying no because I can buy that watch pre-owned or nearly new or new for under 30 grand. So what does that tell you about that watch? I'm not saying it's not a stunning watch. I'm not saying, you know, you wear something completely different to what anybody else will wear. You know, it's a stealth well. The guy that wears that watch has got money, don't want anybody to know it's got money, but other people that know the watch game will know what that watch is. It's a watch that I can buy and sell for under 30 grand and sell for just over 30 grand when the RFP is 35. So that's a definite no if you're buying it to flip it. Right, let's move on to the yellow gold one. So the yellow gold one with the blue sunburst dial, unbelievable dial, obviously blue bezel. Again, RRP on that is around about 33, I think from memory, because white gold costs more to produce. So that's why the RRP is more. Again, stunning watch, one of my all time favorites. I can buy that watch under list and I can sell it under list. So that's another one, unless you really love it and you're buying a flip, it's a no. So while we're on the subject of Submariners, let's do this Mariner Day Starbucks. I'm happy on this watch is, I'm gonna say late eights, somewhere around there, early nines, somewhere around there. Obviously they've spent a lot more money last year. Now we can buy them at a very good price. So we're getting them and being able to sell them in the early teens. So if you're getting offered that watch, Yes, if you want to wear it as well, so you don't have to flip it straight away and sell it in six, 12 months, you can still sell it for a profit. So yeah, either, so that's one to buy and flip and also to buy and wear and then flip. So that's a really good one to choose. One of the questions we get asked on a certain model of time is the steel and gold root beer. Such a popular watch, really, really popular. We see them get asked for all the time, obviously retail. So I think the reason why that watch is so popular is because it is a different look to let's say the blue Submariner. Some people like the yellow gold, some people don't. Some people prefer the rose. It actually is a really nice combination watch. I think the bezel on it is super nice and it does actually dull down the rose gold and make it look a really, really classic, expensive watch. You can pick that up now for probably between, I'd say around the 16, 16, five, somewhere around there. List on that watch, I'm gonna say is between 13 and 14. So if you get offered that watch, definitely buy it. Can you flip it for a profit? Yeah, it's not massive, but it's worth a profit. And if you hold it, if you wear it and then sell it, you're still gonna get your money back or you're still gonna get a nice return. So yeah, if you get offered that watch, it's a yes for me. So the, some of the GMTs, which I'm sure you won't need me to actually give you any advice on, is the Batman, Batgirl, yes, yes. Obviously worth a lot more than RRP. The Pepsi, Jubilee, Oyster, yes, yes. Again, obviously the Jubilee is worth more than the uh, Oyster, but certainly the Oyster is one you should consider and both worth over list. So you can flip them straight away or you can actually hold, wear, keep, make some money down the line, but yeah, they're definite yes, yeses. The Sprite, we've not had a Sprite in. I'm I'm so keen to get my hands on one. If any of you guys have got one at sensible money, I would definitely buy it. Definitely one to, if you get offered it, obviously, yeah, a million percent, buy it. If you want to flip it straight away, you will get a decent amount on that because it's still a hyped watch. So we're not at the watches and wonders yet of March. So nobody knows what's going on, whether it gets discontinued, where it doesn't. Will it be a short run watch? Will it be a left hand drive watch? Nobody knows. But yeah, if you get off of that watch, definitely buy it. You can hold that and have no worries whatsoever. You can still wear it and flip it and make a really good profit. And obviously, if you want to get rid of it, ring me up and I'll buy it. Let's talk about the Steel Sky Dweller range. So Steel Skies, they come in three model variations, the white, the black, the blue. If I'm going to say blue, needs no asking it's a yes million percent one of our best sellers at the minute they're selling brand new for just around 20 grand rrp on that watch i'm gonna say somewhere around about 13 ish 13 6 14 somewhere around there even if you get the white one it's still worth a little bit over list the black one a little bit more over list the blue one a lot more over list and yeah so either of those three definite yes 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 you can wear it you can hold it or you can flip it straight away that's a definite yes. So one thing that we're doing to talk about as well is the precious metal sky dwellers. Definitely a under list watch. So the solid gold, the rose gold, the yellow gold. Retail on the yellow gold around about 35-ish. It's an under list watch for us to buy and sell. So that's a definite no. Unless you love that watch, do not buy it. Rose gold, it's down to the dial combination. If it's a chocolate dial, yes. Is it worth much of a list? 
Not really. Is it worth a touch or list? Yes. Definite one that is extremely sought after. But again, it's not much over list watch. If you're spending just short of £40,000 to get your way up the list and spend more money, it is one to do, but it's not going to get you rich out of it. So definitely bear that one in mind. White dial. I had a client message me yesterday. He's actually got a couple of old sky dwellers to, to sell, actually. So he had two on the leather. So he had a white gold one on leather, which is extremely rare. He had a rose gold one on leather with the discontinued chocolate Arabic dial. Really nice watch. We used to sell those before and they used to sell really well. And then they sold even better because of the boom. Now, because the way the market is in the sky dwellers and they've become a under list watch and the modern version of that, which is the Oyster Flex sky dweller. So the one on the rubber strap, they are definitely a massive under list watch. So you've got the yellow gold one and the rose gold one, and they can be picked up by us under list and sold under list so if you get offered them no but to go back to the leather ones that i got offered i actually said to the client i don't actually want to stock them in the current market he told me what he paid for them last year we were always going to be miles away and for me the way the market is and the way the sky dweller precious metal market is i just didn't want to stock them we just couldn't come to a deal you know it's just just the way the sky dweller range at the minute so if, unless it's a steel sky dweller or steel and gold actually so steel and gold we've got one here let me just grab a steel and gold so the mrp on this one is around about 60 Three. three dial combinations again so if you get this you got the call yep i've got a sky dwelling for you it's a steel and gold and you go what dial is in it and he says why i'm going to say no i can buy that and sell it under list if he says champagne i'm going to say no again because beautiful watch really really popular dial as well but it's worth under list black just about list if i'm honest with you maybe a touch under so that might be a watch as stunning and unbelievable value as that is and i really really back this watch when you look at all the other steel and golds and how much this actually costs compared to it i think they are unbelievable value for money but they're only worth just list or just under if you want to flip it so again bear that in mind if you're looking for your steel and making you take this watch definitely take it but just prepared you might take a small loss so a watch that you guys probably have been offered will get offered are going to get offered is an op range so the oyster perpetual 41 mil they come in 34 mil 36 mil and 41 you've got to be really careful on which one you choose you are gonna make a little bit of money if you bought it so if you bought like a silver one i think the rrp on that watch now i'm gonna say it used to be 4750 i'm gonna say about five one or something like that so if you've got a silver dial with the gold batter markers black dial blue dial any of those three worth list or just over to to uh, to a dealer like us not a big margin if i'm honest with you and it's normally people get that offered quite a lot and then you into the other dials which i think the current dials in that you've got the dark green dial that's one dial that you might get offered that's worth a little bit over list so that's worth one to buy but yeah you, you're probably just going to get the entry level so silver black blue something like that yeah definitely take it actually a lot of watch for the money when you compare it to the, the price of the other models and also to let's look at other companies like Amiga or Breitling or whoever you know Cartier you know there are a lot of watch for the money really for an entry level watch so definitely take it definitely say yes but don't expect to get rich out of it another one I'll touch base on is the Explorer 2 this is another one you guys are probably definitely going to get offered list price on this I'm sure is around about mm, 8 grand I'm going to say 8-ish definitely worth over list you've got the black dial you've got the polar white dial with the blue minute hand so definitely yet yeah, if you get off of this yes is it worth more than list yes how much of it a little bit but really sought after i mean we've got this one advertised things 9750 it's a brand new watch under 10 grand last year we were selling these for well over 10 grand the polar white near a 12 grand you know if i got a brand new polar white in now absolutely marketing it around about the 10 grand or just over so a lot of watch for around about the 10 grand mark really popular watch good size 42 mil nice that brush stainless steel watch not too thick not too heavy good all day wearer i know a lot of people slate this watch and you know think they're a bit underestimated or underrated with regards to looks but i think for the money i think it's a really good buy so if you get for this yes polar white yes i could do this all day so hope you enjoyed it and tune in next time i'll do another should you buy or should you pass